Hey guys, I want to take a minute to talk a little bit about buffers that we recommend in recoil springs for any blowback 9 mil. Um, this is what we learned. Uh, we have a buffer that's approximately 6 ounces. Uh, it's a heavy butter, buffer with a lot of mass and uh, it's 3.8 inches long. If you have a buffer that is, you know, I'd say less than 5.5 ounces or any longer than 3.8 inches, I would expect to have some issues in terms of um, reliability of the trigger reset. Uh, the bolt moves very, very quickly on a blowback and you need to give the disconnector time to rotate forward to uh, grab the hammer and you do that by giving the system mass in the form of a heavy buffer and a good recoil spring. We always recommend a 308 caliber carbine spring for ultimate reliability. If you use a 556 recoil spring you may experience burst fire, we don't recommend it. If you use a 556 buffer you may experience burst fire, we don't recommend it. The mass also helps get the bolt fully into battery and seat it, uh, push the bolt completely forward. So the mass does a lot of things for you um, that aren't immediately obvious just by, you know, without looking at it uh, on slow motion film. Uh, we recently created a flat wire through a rear coil spring, um, which we're going to start releasing in the first quarter. And we'll be offering this as a kit at some point in the first quarter through our distributor partners. This is a wonderful addition to any build you're doing. It's the flat wire. 308 carbine recoil spring in one of our heavy buffers. Um, they found that it really softens a recoil impulse and it's a very cost effective way to do that. Again, this is Paul from FM Products. Thanks for joining us.